morning, boys and girls, parents and grandparents. I'd like to welcome you back to SGBC Children Worship. It's good to see you again. Now this morning, we're going to do the welcome a little bit different. You know, I like to try different things, right? So today, we're going to welcome you by your class. So we're going to start with the youngest class, the toddlers. I would like to welcome Casey, Terrence, and little Christy. Welcome to Children's Worship. Now we're going to move on to the JK to grade 2. I would like to welcome Jonathan, Brayden, Abigail, Maxton, Kaylin, Chelsea, Burton, Clayton, Quinton, and Haley. Welcome to Children's Worship. I hope you guys are doing great at home. Now, it's my class turn. It's the grade 3 to grade 5. This morning, I would like to welcome Solomon, Sophie, Jaden, Charmaine, Candace, Chloe, Gabriel, Michael, and Cleo. Welcome to Children's Worship. I'm not sure what you're doing at home, but I hope that you enjoy the school uh, from home and enjoy being with your siblings. And now we're up to the highest grade, the grade 6 to grade 8. I would like to welcome Ethan, Choco, Samuel, Gabriel, the bigger Gabriel, Renee, Esther, Fianca, Amanda, Andrew, Curtis, and Zach. Now, I know we have some new friends who join us uh, in our worship. So I would like to welcome Claire and Christopher and Enoch and Sinoch. And also, Cleo and Chelsea told me that they are inviting their friends to come join us as well. So I would like to welcome uh, Cleo's and Chelsea friends, Matthew, Nathan, and Jaden. Welcome all of you to join us worship. Now, remember last week I talked about making a to-do list? Now, have you made yours? I have made mine. So let's go through our to-do list once again. Five minutes before we worship, we make sure we finish our breakfast and we go wash our hands and take our washroom breaks. Then you get your Bible ready. Afterwards, you go onto the SGBC website or the SGBC YouTube channel to get ready for worship. Now you're ready. Sit down and get ready for the countdown. So are you ready for worship? If you are, let's worship God together. Let's start with our opening prayer. Our Heavenly Father, you are good. You love us and you take care of us. You know when we sit down and when we get up. You know what we are thinking. Lord, even before we speak a word, you know all about it. Dear God, this morning, please come and fill our hearts. Come gather our family to worship you. Let every word we say and every song we sing be pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, God loves and cares for us, and He deserves everything from us. Every move, every breath, every step. Let's sing the next song, Every Move I Make. Now, this is a really fun song. You can actually uh, stand up and dance along with the music, okay? And uh, it's a very easy song to sing. And even if you don't know the words, as long as you know na na na, you can join me and sing, okay? So let's sing um, every move I make together, okay? It goes like this.
hope you have fun singing this song. Now remember last week, me and my family, we worship together and we enjoy worshiping with you together. Now this week, we have another family that's going to share with us the joy and the love of them praising God. Now let's worship with them together. Hi, I'm Neville. Hello, I'm Renee. Hello, I'm Solomon. Hello, I'm Sophie. We, we are, are the Chung family. family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hi, what special days do you like to celebrate? Um, Christmas and um, my birthday, Easter uh -huh. and Star Wars Day uh -huh. and Thanksgiving. Wow, sounds great. How do you celebrate on those special days? Um, eat turkey mm -hmm. and buy presents mm -hmm. and, and eat, mm -hmm. watch movies. Okay, sounds fun. We celebrate special days all through the year. And we can celebrate our love for God. And when can we celebrate our love for God? From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalms 113 verse 3. Everybody at home, let's praise the Lord together. Praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noontime. Chung family for leading us in worship this morning. If you and your family want to do this as well, we would love to have you. Just shoot a video of you and your family worshiping together and send it to us. Then we'll be able to add it in our next couple worships. So I hope to see your video soon. Wow, we haven't been worshiping at church for a long time now. I do miss all the uncles and aunties who serve us. All the Sunday school teachers, all the worship leaders, and even the helpers. I'm sure you miss them too. We're very lucky this morning that we have Uncle Kelvin to come and share God's word with us. We miss him a lot. So let's sit down, get your heart ready, get your ears ready, and listen to what God wants to say to us. I'll hand this time to Uncle Kelvin. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you all. We can worship God on Sunday together. Now, look at me. Look at how I dress. If you do not know I have to stay home, you may think I'm on a vacation or something. No, I, I wish I can, but um, it's just somewhere near my home. Because the weather is really nice. And uh, I was trying to record this at home, but it's kind of noisier than I usually expected. So why not just do it in a park? This is a park nearby. Oh, last week, Auntie Grace told us about the Ascension Day. It was the time when Jesus was still on earth with the apostles before he was taken to the heaven. Now, after Jesus was taken to the heaven, the Holy Spirit came to the apostles, which is also known as the Pentecost, Acts of Apostles, chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them, like lighting up a candle. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now the Holy Spirit first came to Jesus when he was baptized. Now when we believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit came to our lives. Now there's a lot about the Holy Spirit. I chose two of them to share with you.
Yeah, Bible said I can do all things. I'm excited. I can do one. I always want to try four. Yeah. Now we watch the video. Don't try to do the same thing at home. We can do all things, yes, but it must be for the good of the kingdom of the Lord. If that's just something we want to achieve, no, that's not the way it works. Now how about the voice of the Holy Spirit? My dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me. I sin. You forgive me, and I sin again, you forgive me again, now I do it again, please forgive me. How do you want to pay for this? My Lord, everything I have is yours. All my money, all my talent, please just tell me how I can pay for this. I am not asking for all your money, I just need... Sixteen ninety-five for the pizza delivery. In John chapter 10, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. If we follow Jesus, we can hear and we can recognize his voice. The Holy Spirit gives us directions and instructions. We can then do all things we never imagined we can, but for only and only for the good of his kingdom. Like Abraham, he heard the voice, he obeyed, and off he went. Like Moses, he heard the voice, he didn't want to do it in the beginning, in the bushes, burning bushes. But then later on, he was proven to be the best servant of the Lord. Like Jonah, he heard the voice, he didn't obey, he never agreed to the task was given to him, but God, the Holy Spirit, still moved him to do the right thing. As you all know, my mother tongue is Cantonese. Now, if not because of Holy Spirit, I will not be speaking to you right now. A couple of years ago, if you told me for what I'm doing right now, putting a camera and speaking a language I do not speak too well in front of people I would say you're crazy now that's how Holy Spirit work in our lives I really look forward one day one of you some of you could be my Sunday school teacher and teach me in Cantonese I'm serious about this this is not a joke I would be very happy you can be my Sunday school teacher one day and teach me in Cantonese. We end with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit. Even though we can't see him, we are thankful that we can hear him speak to our hearts, feel his presence in our daily lives, and see him move us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you all next week. Thank you, Uncle Kelvin, for sharing God's word with us this morning. Boys and girls, I hope that you learned something this morning and you're going to use it in your daily life next week. Now, usually when we worship at church, we do our sermon and we do our offering and we do Lord's Prayer together. Now, I want to bring back some of our old traditions. So we're going to do Lord's Prayer together again. I hope you still remember how to do Lord's Prayer. So let's do the Lord's Prayer with me together. Okay. Let's do it. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Before we end today's worship, 
I have a few announcements to make. Now, June 14, two weeks from now, is a very special day. It's our church 13th anniversary, SGBC 13th birthday. Now, we want to um, invite you to join us to help celebrate this special day. We have a project that we want you to do. The title, the theme of the project is My SGBC Is. Now, you can be as creative as you want. You can do it uh, with a drawing, or write a poem, or sing a song, or do a video, or make a craft. Now, send in your photos or videos by next Sunday, June the 7th, and we hopefully that we can put it into our worship to help celebrate his church birthday. Talking about birthday, next week we also have a special birthday. Next week is Casey's birthday, and he is turning three. Casey, God make you very special, and he loves you very much. So let's say happy birthday to Casey. Happy birthday, Casey! Happy birthday! So hopefully you will enjoy today's worship and come back again next week so that we can worship God together. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.